Good morning, my name is Peter Bush and my presentation is titled User-Driven Configurable Architectural Assemblies Towards Artificial Intelligence Embedded Responsive Environments. The theoretical content of this presentation has been partially developed in the contextual theory module of the Design for Manufacture course at the Bartlett School of Architecture in London. I'm also a lecturer at the Kent School of Architecture and Planning. The paper theoretically elaborates the idea of individual users' customization activities to create and configure responsive spatial scenarios by means of reconfigurable interactive assemblies. It reflects Gordon Pask's concept of human and device interaction and communication based on its unpredictable notion speculating a potential to be enhanced by artificial intelligence learning approach of an assembly linked with human activators participative inputs. Contemporary built environments are facing a variety of challenges, which one of them is a necessity to be customized according to specific criteria, for instance, spatial demand, that cannot be predicted and that are addressed directly on site. In addition, such a system should have capacities to be reconfigured physically and directly by end users themselves. In response to their stimuli, the assembly may learn the unique demanded scenario defined by the end user and offer an adequate response within a given conditions. Application of deployable architectural systems based on mechanisms and components driven by people's stimuli forces an embedded intelligence to meet their needs and to drive self-assembly processes is a strategy where this intention can be achieved. These are some examples of deployable intelligent systems actuated either by an outer force or a digital stimuli to address social engagement, customization and open-ended spatial scenarios. The idea of deployable, adaptive and flexible typologies for built environments is not new. Architect Cedric Price integrated flexibility of spaces in his famous Fun Palace project addressing mass customization and open-ended construction framework. The structures integrating so-called auxetic properties, such as in this kinetics project, operate with simple mechanisms embedded into the structural system. As such, the system can be reshaped, expanded and changed in its size and in a physical profile based on a variety of transformative movements of its components, possibly aggregation as a self-autonomous components. Soft Robotic Matter Group investigates self-driven deployable systems either by using robotic actuators or gravitational pulling or pushing forces to reshape the assembly of unit cells. All these systems integrate capability of the component to be morphed or reshaped into a different state. Gordon Pask's conversation theory elaborates the aspects of communication and interactivity between environment, human and a device, between two devices and between human agents themselves. Such a responsive communication creates unprecedented opportunities for learning, bringing artificial intelligence capable to learn from user stimuli and response in a constant feedback looping process. Architecture capable to learn from its occupants, just as occupants can learn from architecture and from the environment, may bring relevant cultural and spatial solutions to cover intelligence-based built scenarios based on simple interactions to create more complex results beneficial for inhabitants themselves. Thus, a conversation between human and artificial components can emerge between an individual and environment and a building device, not pre-programmed or predefined for a finite state, but always ready to be reconfigured in a flexible way and bringing novel responses in unpredictable and novel situations. To address the aspects of flexibility, customization and capability of the device to learn from previous states and user stimuli, the research explores possibilities of spatial units capable to change its state to different spatial relations, manipulating with the unit's elements such as the edge or face to change its volumetric representation. I'm taking overweld as cell unit and extruded cube as an initial component to create spatial urban tower assemblies 
and speculate about possibilities to morph and change their volume. The following method has been proposed, learning to design an assembly method, which will allow users to physically participate on a construction and configuration of spatial scenarios delivery. There are two core features, a physical kit of components based on auxetic principles for morphing and reconfiguration of an assembly, integrating manual, automatic or semi-automatic operation, and artificial intelligence enabled logic following unique user profiles. As such, the LTDA method follows the specific user's individual requirements and properties which are adduced from the user's behavioral patterns and their habits to deliver customized spatial scenarios. An initial computational framework is proposed to accommodate a strategy for the LTDA method implementation consisting of following steps. The first, the component definition of configurable units utilizing the auxetic principles of an assembly. A second, a set of initial spatial configurations defined by the designer in the computational model. The third is data mining process based on user submissions via online interface. And data set integration and deep learning implementation for spatial assemblies delivery. The test of behavior of auxetic principles of the structure was conducted computationally to understand the behavioral characteristics of the simple units in the computational model and to deliver generations of possible spatial scenarios which mimic the datasets prospectively submitted by end users. The new modes of sharing economies might offer alternative solutions for participation, planning, design and construction processes where the emphasis is given on the activation of users themselves, their values, knowledge and skills. <laughs>